Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a clean eating Walmart and Aldi grocery haul. If you hear Tiago throwing stuff in the background, then try to um, ignore it. Today's video is going to be um, not just the haul, but I'm also going to explain a little bit of why we buy the items and what I like to make with them. Chicken masala sauce, and I like to make this exactly. I just make chicken with peppers. Um, and I add this sauce on top, it's really, really good, and I just make it on a bed of uh, rice. Bell peppers, baby carrots, shrooms, I add these to pasta um, or any kind of stir fry. Two dozen organic eggs, organic celery. I like to add this to soups um, or stir fries or salads sometimes. A couple packets of uh, brown rice and quinoa because these are so convenient and they are so good. Like they really taste really good. It's just one serving per packet, which is probably a little bit more than what you would eat in one serving. Um, but I buy these all the time because they're just a convenient little addition to any meal. I got some Snickerdoodle keto cookies. Um, these are actually really clean. The ingredients are awesome. They're um, almond flour based. They do have a little bit of natural vanilla flavor, which is not great, but they don't have a ton of sugar. Chocolate chip flavored. And I also got some uh, cookie thins. These are coconut or toasted coconut. They're delicious. These are my favorite. And they also have a chocolate chip kind. And some uh, coconut crisps, sea salt caramel. These are also really good. I'm a snacker, as you can tell. Avocados, we add this to anything and everything, and Thiago loves them. We all love them. Um, walnuts, I plan to add these to um, yogurt in the mornings or salads. We got some frozen chopped spinach, organic. Um, anytime you buy greens uh, or peppers or certain fruits, um, you want them to be organic, especially if they're on the Dirty Dozen, which spinach is uh, like really high on the Dirty Dozen list, which means that it ranks high in glyphosate, and you don't want that in your food. Blueberries also need to be organic. Berries in general need to be organic, in my opinion. Organic um, pizza, margarita pizza. It's just basic like cheese with tomatoes, and it's not the cleanest ingredients, but um, I love these because we add everything to them. We add extra cheese, we add peppers and mushrooms and chicken, and we just make them what we want them. Organic chopped kale. Kale also has to be organic. It ranks high in glyphosate. Organic uh, ground rice. We're running low on rice, and if you're gonna eat rice, um, you might as well make them complex carbs, which this is. Oh, and what I really liked about it is it's quick cook because brown rice takes forever to cook. And I've cooked it before and it just doesn't come out right. It's either too mushy or too hard. So um, I'm hoping that this will turn out a lot better. We get organic cheese at uh, Aldi. We got some Colby Jack and some cheddar. Organic baby spinach. I uh, make baby food with it and I also add it to my salads and we cook them in all sorts of ways. We got some grass-fed cheese at Aldi. This is probably one of the items that I love the most because it's hard to find grass-fed cheese. In fact, I haven't found any grass-fed cheese other than this, so that makes me really excited to, um, to get it there. I bought three packs and I just shred it myself. It takes me like five minutes and I just put it in a Ziploc bag and I use it on everything. This is another item I'm really excited about. I love Aldi for this reason. They have such good items. Um, black bean pini pasta and red lentil rotini. So these are both complex carbs. These are things that you want and, and things that need to be organic because legumes also rank high in glyphosate. So if you're gonna get pasta instead of flour, choose things like these. These are, I don't know how they'll taste or the texture of them, um, but I'm hoping that it's good and it will definitely be worth it if you have to sacrifice a little bit of the texture um, or a little bit of the flavor. I mean, you can add anything to pasta, so try it. More red lentil rotini. And I got this edamame spaghetti. I've never had edamame. I've heard good things about it, so that's why I'm gonna give it a shot. So before I start the Walmart 
portion of this video, I'm gonna tell you a little story. I bought a juice, I don't drink juice. I usually just drink water and coffee. Like that's all I'll ever drink. But I found this cold pressed juice at Walmart. It was in one of those like small glass jars and it looked so good. It was like papaya and lemon or something, I don't know. And it only had two ingredients. It was super clean. It looked so good. I was so excited to bring it home. And I'm making my way to my car. I, I went through the self checkout, so I bagged up everything myself. And I didn't think to double bag it because it was the only thing in, in that bag. I, I specifically put it alone in that bag so that it wouldn't be too heavy. And it wasn't a heavy jar, it was a small jar. Well, I'm making my way to my car and I hear something shatter behind me. So I turn around and my jar of cold pressed, amazingly delicious, probably juice had shattered all over the floor. I was so devastated. My heart shattered with it. But um, once I got it together, I got one of the like the reusable grocery bags and I put like the big pieces of glass in there and I notified someone. Did he fall on his head? And I notified uh, one of the Walmart people um, of the smaller pieces so that they could get them before anyone could um, drive over them. I was so excited to try that juice. Anyway, on to the things that actually made it home with me. I got some grass-fed beef. Um, notice that it's 80-20. So there's another YouTube channel where I learned that um, grass-fed beef is uh, nutritionally superior to its traditional counterparts um, or traditional like alternative. And just nutritionally speaking, this is much better for you because whatever the cow eats ends up in you if you eat it. So. If you're gonna eat ground beef, you want it to be grass-fed. And the higher the fat content, which is 80-20 uh, means like 20, obviously 20% 20 fat. So the higher the fat content, the better. Fat is actually not bad for you when it comes from good sources. On that note, we got eggs. We, uh, Freddie and I eat organic eggs, um, but Tago eats um, organic pasture-raised eggs. They're just a little bit more expensive and I can't justify buying that many pasteurized eggs because we eat a lot of eggs. Um, so I got two dozen because Tiago's starting to eat a lot of eggs too. He'll have like two every morning or two egg yolks. Um, when he's one, I'll start giving him the egg white. But um, on the same note of the beef, uh, the same thing happens with chickens. Whatever they eat, you end up eating. So pasture raised just means that they're eating what chickens were meant to eat, which is uh, pasture and bugs and worms and so it's a lot better for you than eating eggs from chickens who eat GMO feed and um, are in crowded spaces and just not in the best condition. I got a bag of organic sweet potatoes. Um, I put them in uh, Tiago's baby food and sometimes every now and then I'll bake one for me too organic cocoa powder. So I love making hot cocoa, but I make it myself. It just, it's super easy. It's super easy and it's so good. Like it's so much better than buying the packets and it's a lot healthier for you. Tortillas for Freddy. I got some red curry paste too. There's a recipe that I wanna try um, with this and it's the only thing that I was missing, but I've never tried it, so got some Primal Kitchen Ranch. It's the only um, dressing out there that has avocado oil in it that I've seen and with like really, really clean ingredients. I don't use too much of it, but I will um, dress my kale salad with it. Then I eat kale salad all the time. So I like to have a bottle of this in my, free in my fridge all the time. Strawberries. So I mentioned earlier that berries always should be organic but I couldn't find any. Walmart and Aldi didn't have any um, organic strawberries and neither does Kroger, which really stinks. It's re they're really hard to find around here. Um, but Freddie really likes them in his, um, in his yogurt in the mornings. So that's why I got them. One lemon and some bananas. 
All right, everybody, that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Um, uh, we do family vlogs, we do grocery hauls, and I also do nursing related videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.